I want you to imagine a serene location surrounded by gentle waves lapping at the shore. So these waves represent the ebb and the flow of life, reminding us that even in our toughest moments, we can find tranquility and inspiration. So that's what this Carencia pattern aims to capture, visual representation of the emotional journey that we all experience. Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of this luscious rippling crochet blanket, Carencia, as well as introducing a brand new fluffy yarn collection. And stay tuned for later in the video as I will be giving away a full set of this new yarn. Isn't this blanket just mesmerizing? Carencia is not just about creating a beautiful piece. It's about capturing the essence of a space where we can find solace, draw inspiration, and gather strength. So this pattern is quite simple and it's designed for the adventurous beginner. It's made up of simple repeating rows and basic stitches, plus these adorable little puff stitches. I love the ripples throughout as well as the fluffy fringe. It is so snuggly and you will just want to wrap yourself in this every day. So this pattern was inspired by a blanket that I made years ago. It was a simple rippling crochet blanket with fringe using all kinds of yarn bases and it was so comforting and it was a piece that I loved for years. So when we decided to introduce our new sugar fluff fingering yarn, I immediately thought of that blanket and knew that I wanted to have something similar designed. So I reached out to our lovely designer Patricia who so graciously designed this beautiful blanket for you using our new sugar fluff yarn. This new yarn collection is a lovely Surrey alpaca blend. It is so soft, it feels so nice against the skin and it's wonderful for holding alone in your project or you can hold it together with other yarn bases when you knit, crochet, or weave. The colors are limited edition, so please do order all you need to complete your project. So in keeping with that pattern I made years ago, we chose to combine different yarn bases in this pattern, which is something I absolutely love to do. All of the details for all of the different yarn colors and different yarn bases that we use are in the pattern PDF for you, and that can be found at expressionfiberarts.com. And while you're there on the site, go ahead and sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. So I would love to show you how to make this blanket today. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So we're going to go ahead and start with a chain and I'm just going to work chain 27 for a small swatch today. But all of the details for the color changes, the hook changes throughout the pattern, as well as which rows to repeat when are included in the pattern for you. So to begin row one, we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook and we're going to work into the little humps on the back of our chains. So one, two, three, four, find the little hump on the back and we're gonna double crochet into that. And these first three chains do count as a double crochet. So we're gonna go ahead and double crochet into the next three chains as well. Still working in the back humps. One, two, and three. Now we're going to double crochet two together in the next two stitches twice. So to do that, go ahead and yarn over and start your double crochet into that next stitch. Let's stop when you've got two loops on your hook. Go ahead and start another double crochet in the next stitch. And then stop and when you have three loops, go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three loops. So you've turned two stitches into one. And we're going to do that again. So Yarn over and begin your double crochet into the next stitch. Stop when you have two loops left. And then begin your next double crochet into the next stitch. And when you have three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So once again, you've turned two stitches into one. So now we're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. One, and continuing to work into those back humps, it just creates a nice edge on your blanket when you do this. So there's one, two, and three. Now you're going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. So this is an increase, we're turning one into two. So one double crochet and another double crochet into that same stitch. And we're going to do that again. So in the next stitch, work two double crochets, which is another increase. And this is what's helping to create our ripples when we work these decreases and increases. So you can see there. Now we're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one. Find the next little hump. 
There's two. Find the next little back hump and three. Now we're going to double crochet two together in the next two stitches twice, just like we did before. So begin your double crochet into the next stitch and stop when you have two loops on your hook. Begin your next double crochet into the next stitch and stop when you have three loops and then you're just going to yarn over and pull through all three. And we'll do that again. Yarn over and insert into the next stitch, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two. So that's the start of our first double crochet. And go ahead and do that in the next stitch as well. Start your next double crochet. And when you have three stitches, you're going to go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three. Next, you'll double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. And when you get to your last chain, you're just going to work two double crochets into that final chain. One and two. For row two, we're going to turn and we're going to start with a chain three, which does count as a double crochet now and throughout the rest of the pattern, unless otherwise stated. So we're going to start with a double crochet into this first stitch and then a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, Three. Then we're going to double crochet two together over the next two stitches twice. So double crochet two together. So turning two into one. And then we'll do that again. Double crochet two together. Turning two into one again for a little decrease. Then double crochet into the next three stitches. One two, three, then you're going to repeat across your row, two double crochets in the next stitch twice. So one and two into this next stitch. And then again in the next stitch work two, one and two. So there's our increase making our little hump and our ripple pattern. Then double crochet once into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then double crochet two together in the next two stitches twice, just like we've been doing to create our decreases. So double crochet two together. There's one, and then we'll do it again. Over the next two stitches, double crochet two together. Then we're gonna double crochet in the next three stitches. And you'll just continue repeating that across your row. One, two, and three. And when you do reach the end, you're just gonna work two double crochets into the top of that turning chain. One and two. For row three, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with a chain two. And this does not count as a stitch. So you're gonna single crochet loosely into this first stitch and into each stitch across, including the turning chain. So you just wanna make sure and count your stitches that they are correct when you're finished with this row. So as promised, I am giving away a full set of this luscious yarn base used to make this pattern. So to enter, just make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and comment below letting me know what you think of this new pattern. So when you come to the end, again, just make sure that you work into that final turning chain. For row four, we're going to start with a chain two, and this does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work a puff stitch into each stitch across. So to do that, work a yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch. And we are starting in that very first stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. I like to give it a little tug. And we're going to do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. And then one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. And then when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook to create a little puff. 
So just continue working that all the way down. Work your puff stitch into the next stitch, just like you did in this one. And when you have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And you can see how cute those are. They add such a fun little texture throughout the blanket. One, two, and three, and pull through. Super cute. And when you do get to the end, just go ahead and work into that final single crochet from the row below. So for rows five and six, you're basically gonna repeat row two. For row seven, we're gonna start with a chain four, and this does count as a triple crochet. And we're gonna turn, of course. So we're gonna start by working a triple or a treble crochet into that very first stitch. And then you're gonna work a triple crochet into each of the next three stitches as well. And you're gonna find this row is very similar to the ones we've been working. We're just using triple crochets instead of double. And boop. So one in the first one, and then one, two, three. Now we're gonna work triple crochet two together over the next two stitches. So start with two yarn overs and insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna work two yarn overs again insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then when you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there's your triple crochet two together. So let's do it again over the next two stitches. So same thing, start your triple crochet, but don't finish it. Start your triple crochet in the next stitch, boop, boop, and when you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Next, we're gonna work a triple crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna work two triple crochets into the next stitch, and we'll do that twice. So there's one, and again in that same stitch, two, and then jump to the next stitch and work two triple crochets into that one. One, and two, so we've got our little increase here. Then work a triple crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna work our little decreases again. So triple crochet two together over the next two stitches, just like you've already done. And you're gonna do that again. Triple crochet two together over the next two stitches. Boop and boop. There you go. Then you're gonna triple crochet into each of the next three stitches. One. Two. And three. And just continue repeating that all the way across your row. When you do get to the end in the last stitch, just work two triple crochets. One. And two. So I've gone ahead and worked up through row nine, and you can see how we're getting these cute little waves going on, as well as this fun little puff stitch row, which adds some adorable texture. So the remaining rows are just repeats of the rows I've already showed you, and all of the details for that are in the pattern for you. So I hope this blanket wraps you in comfort and peace. It truly would be an amazing project to give to someone who needs that extra little bit of comfort in their life right now. So we hope you enjoy it. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you next week with another pattern. Bye-bye.